Hello everyone, my name is George and welcome to this new Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to work with uh, variables in Ruby. So before we start we need to know what uh, variables are. And variables are basically some place in your program where you can store data, where you can store information. And basically we can use variables uh, to work uh, with our program dynamically. So variables are basically what makes uh, programs uh, more dynamic so uh, they can work uh, with uh, different uh, amounts of data and different data and all of that uh, stuff so basically in this program what we're going to do is that we're going to create some variables and for creating a variable all you need to do is that you need to type in the variable name which uh, commonly starts uh, with a uh, letter or even an uppercase letter but we're going to use a, a lowercase letter over here for example X or we can type in for example um, my number and my number is going to be equals to any random number we want for example 9 so that's it that's how you create a variable in Ruby it's really simple and basically what what you're doing over here is that you're saying that uh, this variable called my number will store this uh, piece of data which is a a integer number which is a 9 by the way so you can print out that variable for example you can uh, type in uh, puts my number and if you run this code you will get uh, the result which is uh, 9 which is 9 okay so basically uh, you can print out uh, variables and you can also print out variables combined uh, with a string message uh, for example if we type in um, a message uh, called uh, the result is and then you wanna call a variable in Ruby what you need to do is that you need to type in hash then um, open brackets just like that and inside the brackets you are going to type in the name of your variable for example my number and by doing that you can print out um, a message uh, that includes a variable for example the result is 9 okay so that's how, how, how you do it if you don't do that well um, you will not get uh, the value of, of your variable pass out to the message for example you will get this uh, result over here so that is uh, why it is important to remember uh, this simple rule okay the hash and then open brackets and type in the name of your variable okay um, another thing that you can do with variables is that uh, you can store uh, different kinds of data they are not just used for uh, keeping uh, numbers you can also store uh, for example text you can say name equal uh, George and you can then uh, print out that uh, name for example okay so there is the result is George which is uh, this variable over here uh, you can also create uh, more variables for example my decimal number and this is going to be really interesting because we're going to create a variable with a decimal value um, for example 5.7 uh, okay and you can perform operations with uh, variables uh, remember how to do math operations well you can do that uh, with, variables, with variables too for example we can get result equals my number multiplied by my decimal number okay and you can print out the result so you're going to get this variable my number multiplied by the second variable and you're going to store the result in another variable and go ahead and save this program and run the code and you will get the result is 51.3004 okay and so that's uh, pretty much it you can uh, make uh, uh, you can do some operations you can store data and um, basically uh, this is a uh, really interesting when you are working uh, with variables because you can make your program more dynamic okay um, also well I think that's it uh, just remember uh, you can that if you do uh, this operation for example with uh, different types of variables for example you have uh, the number and the name and you multiply that you will get something <laughs> really weird 
uh, you will get an error because you're trying to do a uh, operation between uh, two different kinds of variables so even though when you can uh, make operations with variables you have to remember that those variables are uh, compatible for example you cannot multiply a string with a number so just remember that and it should be okay and that's uh, pretty much it so I encourage you guys to practice a little bit more with uh, variables do some operations uh, whatever you want to do is store the result in a variable and print it out so I believe that will be all for this video I hope you guys like uh, the tutorial if you did don't forget to click on the like button below and to leave a comment in the comment section so see you guys later subscribe if you haven't done it yet and uh, have a good nice day bye bye